Up. Oh, why did I put my weapon away? Hey, I did it. Cool. I killed all the drowners. Hey, who's this guy? Kedmil Havkaran. Greetings. I don't speak your language. Nendwan, Nesavatgan. You'll not intimidate us, Witcher. Where's Haran Brog? He promised us some hawkers' specialties. I'm not sure I like your tone. Haran didn't mention you. I was hunting drowners. Vat Telnain. You're no Ensaid, but you're not Dwan Filth either. We'll just take our weapons, and let's part in peace. The goods are Haran's. Sorry, Ensaid, but I can't let you touch those crates. Listen carefully, Vat Gern. We're part of a 20 elf unit. Our brothers suffer from disease and hunger. These crates contain food, medicine, and weapons. We want them now, for we can't approach Vizima's walls every day. I guess I see your point. Good. We have no choice. But you do. Oh, uh, fine. Take the goods. I don't really care. Fine. Take the goods. We're no criminals. We'll pay you. We have gold, pelts, herbs. Give me the gold. I have no use for the rest. Here. We'll take what we need now, and come back for the rest later. The Drowners shouldn't bother you anymore. The fail, Vatgern. Farewell. Okay. Well, I hope that was the right thing to do. I don't really know if it was or not. Let's look in our, uh... Journal. And, uh, we'll learn a little bit about Elves. Wow, that's a lot to say about Elves. After Gnomes, Elves are the eldest race on the continent. They created a magnificent civilization, and the greatest human cities, like Vizima and Oxenfurt, were built upon elven ruins. Elves also have a special affinity for magic, although their magic is different from that of humans. Elves are long-lived, yet the reproductive period of their lives ends quite early, and moreover, they, repro they reproduce much more slowly than humans. This is why they were defeated, the reason why they lost their preeminence in the world. Today, only two enclaves of the race... Enclaves? Enclaves of the race remain. The Blue Mountains, where the elves suffer privation and are dying out, and Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers, which is ruled by the sorceress Enid Anglena. The Valley of the Flowers is a dependency of Nelfgaard. Elves are a beautiful and long-lived race. They have pointed ears, sharp features, and possess no canine teeth. Elves are arrogant and proud, and over many centuries they have developed a high and sophisticated culture. Few remain today, however, and these are in constant conflict with human civilization. That is why so many young elves, eager to fight for their rights, join Scoyatel commando units. Okay. Uh, let's see here. The Strangers in the Night contract. I dealt with the Drowners. And then I sold Heron's goods to the elves. I must talk to him. I hope it was okay that I sold his goods. Uh, so we need to go around here and pick up all of these um, Drowner remains. Since we need the... Uh, there we go, Drowner contracts. I might as well pick them up while we're here. They may be useful for other things. More remains. Oh, whoa. Okay, apparently I can walk in the water. Can I get out of the water? Okay, good, I can. All right. So, where is our buddy Heron? I think he lives in one of these houses. Okay, I think it's over here. Let's go talk to him. See how he feels about us. Um, giving the goods to um, the elves. Where the heck? I just saw a sign that said door to Heron's place, but now I'm not seeing it. Is this it? This is it. Let's talk to him. Oh, there he is. Witcher! Yeah, I killed those drowners and, uh... I killed the drowners and encountered elves. E elves I don't believe I know any e elves They were expecting you. Who are they? Scoyatel. Squirrels. Young non-humans. Freedom fighters. Those who did deal with them are hanged. Bet betray me and you'll hang too. I'll keep quiet. 
If it's dangerous, why do you trade with them? I have to make a l l living somehow. Either way, I did my job. My crates are s safe, then? I underestimated you, Witcher. Incidentally, what ha happened to the elves? We spoke. They said their entire unit would come back for the rest of the crates. Are they m mad? D dangerous for them to come so close to Vizima. If someone were to report it. Meaning? Skoyatel heads f fetch a high price, Witcher. But b best forget you know that. No business of mine. I want my payment. Then you can tell me about Salamandra. Here's your g gold. S Salamandra collect tribute from the villagers. Disobey. And they s slit your throat. Set your house ablaze. Where can I find them? Ask the r reverend. He'll decide what you should know. But I wouldn't mind them gone. Farewell. Well, that was a lot of good information right there. Wow, we gained another level already. Cool. Do we have anything else to talk to him about? Witcher! Mm, hey, let's see if he has any other work for us. Any other work for a witcher? Hmm, I c could probably find something. I need a parcel delivered to Vizima, to a man named Coleman at the Hairy Bear Tavern. No questions asked. Oh yeah, I'll drop it off, sure. Give me the package. I'll drop it off. C Coleman will pay you. Okay. Farewell. Farewell. Cool. Completed Strangers of the Night. This is good. And now our... Salamander's Tail quest is updated a little bit. Oh, we got a new quest, Hot Potato. I have to deliver a parcel to the Hairy Bear in Vizima. Okay, I've gained the trust of the village's most prominent residents. I should tell the Reverend. So we will do that here eventually. Oh, wow. Sun's coming up. All right, let's um, take a look at our quests here. Game of Dice, Zoltan Chive introduced me to the fascinating world of dice poker, almost drowning me in information. You know what they say, you have to try it to know if it fits. I'll play a game or two. Well, we may do that. Berengar's Secret, uh, we don't have any updates on that. Fist Fight, we need to find a stronger opponent. Hot Potato, that's the package we need to deliver. I accepted a job from Heron Brog. I need to deliver a small parcel to Vesima to a man named Coleman, no questions asked. I can find him at the Hairy Bear. Easy money or lots of trouble, we'll see. This one here. Oh, I need, oh man. Uh, I was supposed to visit the five chapels of the Eternal Fire at night. And um, it's not night anymore. Now what? Okay, more Bargists, yay. All right. This one looks a little different, though. Whoa, where'd he go? What the... He disappeared? What the hell? Hmm, alright. I don't know what that was about. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Okay, so, unfortunately... Can I set this now? Is it still considered nighttime? All right, let one of them watch this. <laughs> I wonder if I could just run away and let those guys fight them while I run around and light all these things. Because I don't really need any more Vargas skulls. There's another shrine here, and we'll go ahead and put a light here. We did. Let's get the heck out of here. Well, if I'm quick, I might be able to do all this before sun up. I don't think I'll have enough time though, because they're kind of spread out. There's another one right here. Oh, get it on my way. Like this one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Another shrine right here. <laughs> the guy's back there getting chewed up by the Barkists. <laughs> I got work to do, dude. Sorry. One more. Where is the other one? The other one is way up here. Okay. See, this is one I don't I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to get to it. I'll try though. 
I'm gonna try. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, should be heading right forward it for it. There it is. Cool. I did it. <laughs> Lighting the fires did not drive the Bargus away. Really? Was it supposed to? Of monsters and men. I lit the fires in the chapels, but as I expected, that didn't do any good. I should tell the Reverend he was mistaken. Okay. Uh, we could fulfill the Bargus contract. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Abigail's right over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just knocking out the quests left and right. I still don't know what the hell that is. So now the sun is up. I don't know if you noticed up here before, but there were like slash marks, claw marks on this. Meaning it was dangerous outside. Now those claw marks are gone. Meaning it is now safe outside. It's pretty cool. It's a nice looking shadow there. Let's go talk to Abigail. Oh, oh, she's got Elvin with her. Hmm. The heck? What do you want? Uh, let's ask her a question. Can I ask you something? If you must. I see you took Alvin in. Did you think I'd abandon an orphan? Besides, he has potential. What do you mean? He has powers perhaps beyond his control. For now, he sleeps well with the herbs I brew him. That's good of you. Few in these times would be willing. It's another mouth to feed. With winter approaching, if I grow hungry, I'll eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Doubtless the villagers think so, believing me a monster. Are you one, Abigail? We all hide a monster inside us. So uh, I um... found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargast skulls? I do. I do. They're yours for a price. I knew you'd manage it. And take this mandrake root. You might find it useful. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at her wares. Wow, look how much uh, orange we have now. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, let's see. Why, why would I want this red ribbon? A drowner repelling talisman. Hmm. Uh, field plants, swamp monsters, the book of animals. I wonder if I want these. And also a book on Bargusts. I think I already read that, though. Why would I want this thing? A Drowner Repelling Talisman. I guess it might be nice if I'm um, going to be walking along the water and I don't want to be bothered by drowners constantly. It makes me wonder if, if I'm going to be meeting um, Vesna by the mill. Isn't that along the water? I'm gonna buy this thing. There. I don't know if that was smart or not, but I did it. Um, let's see. Let's learn about field plants. And um, we'll also learn about um, dogs and wolves. Oh, and swamp monsters. Let's just learn about all of them. Cool. And now if I look at my inventory, I can read them. Oh, I already read this one. Oh, sure, now it tells me. Well, why didn't it tell me that before I bought the damn thing? The book describes dogs and wolves. It provides hints on combating them and alchemical ingredients that can be taken from the corpses of these animals. Dog, beast liver, wolf. Field plants. Uh, White Myrtle, Hellbore, Celandine, Bayless, Crow's Eye, Berber Cane, and Suance. Cool. Alright, so now we'll know what those things are. I wonder if we could sell these books back to her for any price. What do you want? Let's see if we could get some of our money back. Um, oh, I guess this means she won't buy it back. Not interested. She's not interested in buying back the crap that we already gave her. We could sell her these eight more Bargus skulls. Might as well sell all these things. There. 
get a little bit more back. That's interesting that she'd buy that back. I bought it from her for 400. She'll buy it back for 200. Ah, hmm. What do you want? So nothing else to talk to her See about. Let's see what Alvin has to say. I'm off to play. Oh. Come again. Oh, okay. Fine. And quests remaining. Uh, we need to talk to the Reverend. And we need to see the Reverend for these two reasons. Um, but we also want to go see Kalkstein. Let's go see Kalkstein and give him this uh, ghoul blood. <laughs> it cracks me up every time. That animation of him pushing that door open. Hey, there's Vesna. I'm afraid to talk to her. I'll screw screw everything up. All right, where's Kalkstein? Oh crap! Where is he? Hmm. Well, apparently during the day he's someplace else. I wonder if Shani has anything new she wants to talk about. Did you want to ask me something? Where's Alvin? Even though I know where he is, we'll ask her anyway. Where's Alvin? Abigail, a local soothsayer, offered to care for him. I hope I did right in trusting the boy to her. She seems strange. I'll look in on them. Thanks, Geralt. I'm a hell of a guy. We'll speak later. Huh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and say something to her. What can I get you? Oh. Oh, I guess nothing now. I'll see you later. Nothing now. I'll see you later. It's almost like she doesn't even recognize us. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm gonna store some more crap here and store these books that I've already read. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe Coxstein will show up a little bit later on. How can I help? Uh, huh. Interesting. So another. How can I help? Another waitress in here. I'd like to order. I'll be back in a minute. All right. Well, we don't really need any of this stuff. It's interesting. We can sell some of this stuff to her. I might do that at some point. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to uh, talk to Kalkstein at some other point. Here's our good buddy Zoltan. We should talk to him. But we'll do that next time because I know he has a lot of things to talk about. And it's break time for me, so... I'm going to take a bit of a break. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Maybe leave a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, why don't you consider subscribing? Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in the next episode.